This is one of my favorite build challenges that we do in The Sims 4 on this channel, and low-key one of the more difficult ones to pull off somehow. Basically, we use two wheels. One has every color from The Sims 4 filters on it, and one is a big wheel full of different aesthetics. I always try and include unique ones on here every time, so a lot of these are very random. And we're gonna spin both of these and we're gonna combine whichever color and aesthetic that we land on. This is always way more more difficult than expected because colors are associated with aesthetics. They're a huge part of what makes up the aesthetic in the first place. So obviously we can run into some problems when those colors are different. So first we're gonna spin for an aesthetic and we're going to do dark nautical. And for the color is going to be blue, okay. Oh, the wheel is being good to us today. Dark nautical is actually a very cool one. It's honestly a little scary to me with the dark open seas, the old ships, maybe an eerie abandoned or ghost ship vibe. So we are going to build here on this lot in Sulani because I kind of want to build it for someone who's been like shipwrecked here. We're going to be building townhouses today and normally when we do this challenge we would do it building apartments in San Michuno but today we got to do the exterior too. I want this front part to look like a lighthouse so I'm taking my octagon room. I've expanded it a little bit and I'm gonna try and attach it like right on here. We're gonna bring that shape all the way up to the top. We'll put like a round roof on there. I've added some black roof paint and a black fence around so I can add some trim. And I should note before we go any further in this challenge, it's not a monochromatic challenge. So we can use other colors, but once we're finished with it, blue will have to be the obvious primary color used here. That is until we spin again, of course. So on that note, let's get some blue wallpaper. Now navigating this is gonna be tricky because we need like a dark blue. Otherwise, we're just gonna end up with nautical. And I want something kind of worn looking. Maybe we can use this here from Spooky Stuff. We're gonna put it up on a stilt foundation. And I think I'm gonna use this blue fence from Werewolves and just bring out an entryway here. I know I'm also gonna want a deck in the back, so I'm gonna bring that out here as well. And then on there, maybe I'll use the other like worn wood from Spooky Stuff. Well, actually, this cats and dogs fence might work a little better. This is actually perfect for me because I am terrified of like open water. I would never go on a ship or I don't even like going on boats because like I can swim, okay? Like I can. I'm just really not that great at it. So if anything were to happen, like I'm doomed. I'm a goner. There's just no hope for me. So obviously any kind of boat is just a no-go for me. But lately my favorite thing to watch on TikTok are the like scary ship videos with that sound. Yo. If you also watch these, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it's a super scary, like, pirate kind of sound. I don't know. And I know I'm not alone because these videos have, like, millions of views, okay? I'm just so deeply invested in it. I find it so interesting, even though it is terrifying. Like, I love watching ships going through the Drake Passage when the waves are, like, coming all the way up. And there's even the ones showing how, like, big ships prepare for, like, potential pirate attacks, which is insane. So, I mean, if anything is dark nautical, it's that. So maybe I do feel a little prepared for this one. Please someone let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about here or if you also are terrified but find it interesting or even if you're like the opposite and you love sailing and boats and stuff. I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comments. So, so far I'm really loving this like dark blue swatch that we're using. The only thing is I know this swatch is going to be super specific. I don't know if we're going to find it across other packs, but I do want to bring in more of like a worn look. So I'm thinking about bringing in some of these werewolves windows, maybe just along like this top part that I'm building here. I'm not going to worry about putting any windows along that right side because it's going to be attached onto another house. Actually, Horse Ranch also has a very similar dark blue swatch. So maybe that's gonna have to be our go-to combination for this. Cats and dogs and horses. None of the above go in the ocean. I'm gonna use one of these for my front door and then we could use the matching one in the back for our deck. Ooh, Horse Ranch actually has an even darker blue. I feel like the lighting is also doing us a lot of favors because these swatches are looking a lot darker like on the actual house than they are in the swatch menu. And I think the next thing I wanna do is go into Get Famous because they have a 
a ton of ship decor. And if I'm gonna do a shipwreck, I'm gonna have to put it in the water back here. So there's actually two parts and they're like split in half. I think I'm gonna shrink them to make them a little bit smaller, but they're definitely gonna be underwater. So we've got our shipwreck here and then I'm gonna turn on debug and we're just gonna find a bunch of rocks that we can put around the shipwreck. This means that maybe whoever lives here doesn't really wanna live here. Maybe they took over the townhouse. They're gonna be stuck with whatever neighbors they end up getting. I've placed one of the island living ladders. Maybe that's where they like got out or they could have just walked ashore realistically, but that shipwreck does look pretty cool. And then with cats and dogs open, I'm also going to add some of the debug fences here. We could also add some of the cargo boxes around here. Oh, and we have this. Maybe I'll actually put that like right at the front. Oh, I found this thing. It's blue. I can maybe put that around my door. I'm going to be adding some of these buoys on here in the blue swatch. In the back here, I'm adding some barrels also from Get Famous. And maybe I'll add a few woodworking tables like they're trying to rebuild what they've lost back here. Oh wait, Werewolves has that dark blue color too. Okay, this is perfect. I'm gonna add just like a couple chairs. I want this whole vibe to be like, these are gonna be stolen objects. <laughs> so if maybe sometimes things don't match up, that's gonna be okay. I'm adding some blueprints over here as like maybe what they're gonna do for a ship. And this one is super funny because it's a rocket ship. So maybe their next plan of action is is to get out of here in a different way, a different method of transportation. I totally forgot Get Famous has cannons. I'm gonna actually raise this top room up on platforms, basically just enough so that the cannons are going to be like going through the window here. We can do like a whole cannon room. This is gonna be a fun interior. All right, so, so far, this is our dark nautical exterior. There are a lot of blue swatches on here. It's weird how like dark they actually ended up, but I do think it looks cool. I I love the shipwreck happening in the background there. I feel like that adds such a unique like element to this build. This is what it ended up looking like from the back. We have our shipwreck and of course we've got our ship fixing station slash planning station here. Okay, now we have to do the interior and I'm hoping these swatches turn out a little more blue looking. Like what if we brought this plank in here? I've been using these horse ranch lanterns. I like the like dim look that they give off. And what if we did like a blue carpet in here? Like, I feel like whenever you see those fancy ships, like the captain's room or whatever, they've got fancy carpets happening. Maybe we try this one. I think I want to do a couple bedrooms up here. Like one of them will have a bunch of bunks for whoever's living here. One will be like the captain's bedroom. And then that will lead over here and up to the tower and maybe up to this room as well. Although I think it would be better if everyone could get up there. So let's do blue ladder leading upstairs. We'll do dark blue wallpaper up here like this one from fitness stuff. I might also bring up some brick and then we can use these dark blue doors like all the way upstairs. The bathroom can be right here and I'm also just going through and setting my lighting to blue tones and I love adding in a little bit of an orange tone as well. The blue and the orange just give off like this really interesting color palette. All right now that our lighting is set I want to start over here with our first room and I actually wanted to make like a gambling room of some kind so I'm gonna use the Sabak game table from Journey to Bad I'm gonna combine that with some of these chairs here, but I want this whole thing to look a little messy. Like we're gonna angle the table. One of the chairs is gonna be like pulled out. I wanted to add a bunch of blue bottles everywhere. Like these are from my wedding stories. They literally have like messages in the bottle. So maybe they've drank all of these and now they're filling them up with like messages that they can send off to see. I think I'm even gonna raise them up and put some of them on the window ledge. And then there are also literal bottles from Horse Ranch. I'm gonna add some of these in the mix too. Specifically this one here with like the blue label. There's potential that this could be meant to be moonshine. We could also add in some of these barrels from cats and dogs with like the bottles on them. We can add a blue rug here and we're definitely gonna be using all of these cats and dogs pictures. Maybe we'll add this one in this room, just keeping it small. I wanna save some of the bigger ones for the main rooms. And actually for the entire thing, I want it to look a little bit more worn. So I'm gonna go in and just add a lot of these details from the basement kit. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do that along the entire house. Oh, there are kegs we can put in here too. And these Journey to Batu vases, which look a little bit like decanters. Okay, this is going to be our gambling room. It's kind of giving speakeasy a little bit. And I found this blue barrel, which is definitely gonna be coming with us through the house. All right, let's move on from this room. I wanna do the front part here. I'm gonna add this rug at the front from Realm of Magic. Ooh, maybe these lamps here could work.
work. I'm gonna tone it down, which actually does bring out the blue in the lampshade. And then I feel like these base game chairs here could work or potentially even these ones or this one from vampires. Behind there, we could use the trunks from base game. Some of these come in different swatches too. So maybe I'll actually use a few of those. Over here, we can definitely do some of these big pictures. So I'm gonna try and find the darkest possible ones we can put. Ooh, there's a treasure map right here. We are definitely adding a couple of these. There's the trunk end table that could be here too. Obviously the globe bar. And I wanna add a big long table for them. Would it be weird if we did like a couple tables? Like it's a dining hall. That could potentially be weird. So I've added my table from get together and I'm again just gonna mix and match a bunch of different blue chairs. I still need to include a kitchen. So I'm wondering if I should shift this and do like a smaller kitchen in the back here. Ooh, cottage living has a dark blue fridge. Okay, I can't remember. Do we have dark blue counters too? We've got these from Horse Ranch. We could line those up or there is this one also from Cottage Living. Maybe we'll keep with Horse Ranch. I like the countertops that they have there. We'll do blue sink there, the blue werewolves trash can. Actually, maybe that can go under my stairs. And then for blue oven, we can just go with the matching one from Cottage Living. Oh, Journey to Badu has more cargo. Actually, I'm gonna put more of this somewhere. Maybe I can just put it along the wall. And then Horse Ranch has this cabinet that we can use here. We also have these we could use from the country kitchen kit. I'm gonna actually add these up above. I'm definitely adding these little barrel kegs. And then up here, I can add even more ship decor. So we have this from Dine Out. We could also add some of these Journey to Batu trinkets up here. Any like antiques or treasures that maybe they collected. Oh, and we have the blue antique books too. I keep finding more stuff that would have been good for out here. So I think I'm gonna bring like a lot of it upstairs. Maybe I can even put this in one of their bedrooms. This is like their dresser. Oh yeah, we have the little base game boat too. Okay, so, so far, this is our dark nautical living room slash kitchen and dining. It has such an interesting feel to it right now. I love this story that we're going with, with like the shipwrecked pirates trying to plot their way out. I'm interested to see who's gonna be living next door because it's gonna be a real weird neighbor they've got. But okay, we need to do the bathroom down here and I've started just like tossing things where I think they should go. I wanted to change the flooring in here to maybe like a tile. I might actually end up doing another bathroom upstairs just because I get the feeling that there's gonna be a lot of people living here. Oh, we have a dark blue swatch from Cottage Living for the bathtub. We could do this blue here from Cats and Dogs. Actually, I think we could do the shower combo. So I'm just gonna rearrange my things here a little bit. We'll do Cats and Dogs blue mirror, horse ranch sink, a bath mat there, maybe like a broom here. It's so hard finding this very specific blue that like matches everything. I also love how like clean it is in here compared to the rest of it. I need to add a lot more clutter or even curtains. I could go in with these here from werewolves. Okay, there we go. We've got our first bathroom taken care of down here. I like that they've got the option for the bath or the shower. And now going upstairs, again, I've just been like adding things here. I want to start to work on the bunk bedroom. I am going to have to make it a little smaller if I do want to include another bathroom for them, but it shouldn't be too bad. I can just like move this over and there we go. It's always so funny when there's like a random family living on my lot and they just do not fit this storyline. Like Makoa, we love you, but this is not, this is not your aesthetic. Okay, bunk beds. I need them to be honestly like this, maybe with like the metal. I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to fit in here. I think we have to ditch the storage or we could shrink it. I still want this to be like their dresser. And then under here again, maybe we could do a cot like this kind of thing works out. I'm trying to keep it simple, kind of just like what you would see on a ship, I think. And I'm gonna add another keg in here or two. We can do one of the big pictures right here and it's kind of basic, but there is our bunk bed bedroom. And then for the other bathroom, maybe a shower here, toilet there, and we can do a sink in the middle. Perfect. And now I want to do the captain's bedroom. I actually found this little sign from Cats and Dogs, which I feel like is a good marker for the room. And in here, I was thinking about using one of the blue swatches for the Get Famous bed. Like this one is perfect. Something clearly fancier than all the other ones. We'll do the barrel end tables here, the lamps I was using. We could use the crate rug from Get Famous. I'm using the same werewolves curtains that I was using in the bathroom downstairs. Oh, and werewolves has a trunk dresser. This is perfect. I know there are also some other trunks somewhere. Oh yeah, we could put a bunch of them. Okay, we have this one. There's a blue one from Kids Room Stuff, which maybe if we put here and then put another one like on top, it won't look as toy boxy. We could get some fancy base game chairs, maybe their own personal keg from Horse 
Horse Ranch. I'm adding some more blueprints for their Pirates Gone Rocket Ship Escape. Oh, and obviously we need the pirate flag, which is technically for the Renegades, but like this just makes too much sense to not put it. We have to hang their flag right there. All right, there we go. We've got our dark nautical bedroom. Definitely fit for a captain. It's been hard, I will admit, finding the right blues for this. Although I can't imagine what it would be if we got like orange or purple or pink. For the final room, I kind of just have this like hidden room over here. I think I'm gonna add a desk. Maybe we'll get rid of like one of the windows back here. There's this one I could use from Paranormal or I feel like these horse ranch ones could fit the aesthetic a little more. I'm gonna add one of the big fancy chairs here. Maybe one of the old like typewriters. Any more clutter that we could possibly find. I guess this can be like the captain's study. All right, this is our captain's study. The Get Famous furniture looks so good in here. I added some more ship decor. I like that we have this little pen with the feather, the desk in here, the bookshelves. And then for the upstairs like cannon room, I think I'm actually gonna just leave it as is. I brought up some more barrels from Horse Ranch up here. We've got the blue lighting and the cannons all lined up. Oh yeah, we also have the top of this tower. Wait, we're gonna move over one of these barrels and my ladder is just gonna have to be right here. That's gonna lead up to this room. And I feel like up here we should just have like a telescope. It'll be like a watchtower. We could even add a couple in like both directions. Maybe a couple blue stools to like sit while you're on watch. And there we go, we have our watchtower. Okay, let's go back to the wheel and see who our neighbors are going to be. Maybe let's spin for a color first this time. So spinning for our color and we get gray. Okay. Oh, I hope we don't get something colorful. Spin the wheel for our aesthetic and we get acid pixie in gray. <laughs> Not a whole lot of gray here. This aesthetic is very psychedelic, very colorful, but it has more of a whimsical, ethereal sort of feel to it. We see a ton of florals, mushrooms, butterflies, and illusionary patterns. So maybe if we stick to those core elements, we'll be okay. Ooh, this is gonna be so hard with gray. All right, okay, well, let's build out the other one, I guess. I wanna have a similar shape to this one, so I'm gonna build another Another little tower here and I'm just gonna stick that right on the front. We'll bring that up three floors as well. Maybe I can do a little something right here basically just so I can bring the roof across. I feel like I should probably leave some space in the background and also I'm just realizing now how terrible of a combination this is. A bunch of acid pixies and pirates. You know what I feel like it could actually go one of two ways. Maybe the pixies can help. That or they're the ones who shipwrecked this thing in the first place. I think I'm gonna be able aiming for a very light gray for like the whole thing here. That's the only way I can see we're gonna be able to make this work. And no matter what we do, we're gonna have to bring in patterns galore. Oh, look at this gray flooring from Get Together. Wait, maybe we can make this work. That is perfect. That's gonna be leading up to our front door. I'm also gonna put that up top here. And then wait, what is this weird growing together swatch? The outside of it is gray, but the inside is this like super funky stained glass. Let's try this for our windows. And then I need some sort of funky like gray window going down the middle. What if we tried these from Jungle Adventure? Okay, I've got my windows and doors. Somehow we need to bring in a colorful vibe to this. The whole thing is gray at the moment. We are going to have to size up some of the mushrooms from Cottage Living. I'm also gonna maybe add some of the weird trees here from Get to Work. We're adding a massive mushroom up at the top of this whole thing. Like the whole point of this kind of aesthetic is to feel like you're on drugs when you're looking at it. Like that's what it is, but in a whimsical way. I'm adding a chimney here, and then I saw a lot of butterfly decor associated with this. What if we had them like flying out of the chimney? I'm just gonna raise them up so they look like they're coming out of one of those stacks there. Wait, that actually looks so cute. We can change the color of them too. Like I could do rainbow ones, I think, or even those ones giving it a little more color. Swatches look white, by the way. They're not. I did pick the gray swatch. This is the gray one. Same as this one here. This is gray. This is white. Oh, look at this rainbow rug from high school years. I totally forgot that existed. I'm adding that right at the front and maybe I'll add some gray chairs around here too. Like we could even use these ones here from For Rent. We are absolutely putting the bubble blower back here, but I'm gonna use the gray one with some gray chairs here from high school years. They are just gonna be watching those pirates fixing up their boat while they're bubble blowing. Maybe I will add a divider. Oh my gosh, maybe they used the bubbles to lure the pirates and that's how they got wrecked. 
And we have this gray flower rug. There was a ton of like floral imagery, so we could even put these around. That actually looks really cute. We actually also have those little floral decals from backyard stuff. I think I'm gonna try and put these everywhere. Hold on, let me cover this thing in gray flower stickers and we'll see if we're onto something or if this looks absolutely horrible. All right, this is what we're gonna have to have for our gray acid pixie aesthetic. I don't know, this might be the one that hit us the hardest with the wheel. How are you supposed to do a rainbow aesthetic in neutrals? I do think it's cute though, regardless. I love the butterflies coming out of there. I actually wrapped butterflies like around this tower here. <laughs> this is how all of the gray flowers turned out on the house. Obviously there are little bits of color like peeking in in places. I think there will have to be for this aesthetic, but I love the little bubble blowing area in the back here. The contrast between these two is hilarious, but let's go inside and see if we can actually do this. Okay, coming inside, I've tried to set some of my flooring and wallpaper already, although this is definitely gonna probably change. So we're gonna do open concept down here, a bathroom in the back. We'll do another bathroom, a bedroom, and maybe like an office or something. Upstairs, I want another bedroom or just a room for them to all hang out. And we'll have like some sort of room over here as well. I'm thinking about putting a fountain. I don't really know yet. I think I wanna start off just setting this scene a little bit with some of the visuals that we've brought in already. We're gonna bring in some patterned lighting here. I also wanna add a lot of greenery in here, being careful that we don't take away from the gray. There are also some Strangerville plants that we could use, which I actually love these because in live mode, they move around and I feel like that is completely adding to the trippiness of this. Let me find a gray table. Maybe we could use one of these ones from Get Famous. Some gray chairs. Oh, this is hard. Maybe we could bring in some like animal chairs. Oh, wait, these gray base heart neon lights. This might save us here. We could add some of these patterned candles. Basically, if you're looking at this and wondering what the heck is happening in here by the end, we've done our job. Oh, Decor to the Max has this. We can put that on the wall. It has like an illusion in it. I'm gonna add a divider here, like separating the living room. I'm adding some hamster chairs in the corner. Oh, Island Living has this weird swatch. Wait, they also have that weird swatch there for the beds. I'm adding these trees here from Dine Out. I feel like we need a lava lamp. Even though it's gonna change the lighting a little bit having that in here, we need some color desperately. I've added this garage door here from City Living. There's like a gray swatch with some pink on it. So random in here. Okay, let's spin around and do the kitchen. Maybe for the kitchen, we could use Realm of Magic. I'm adding those there. I did a simple kitchen here, which is a stove and a sink. All right, so we have our acid pixie aesthetic in gray. It's definitely interesting. I don't know if we hit the aesthetic here for the main floor yet. It definitely looks cool and it's very different from what we've got going on next door. But is it close enough? I don't know. This is challenging. We're gonna go and get the bathroom out of the way before we go upstairs and do the bedrooms. This one should be fairly easy. I feel like most things for the bathroom will come in a gray swatch. We could use one of the four rent showers here. Maybe the four rent sink as well. And then for the mirrors, I was thinking like movie hangout has a lot of this stuff. Like this mirror could work. We could bring in one of these like bubble rugs. I really think any of these other colors would have worked. Oh my gosh, look at these curtains. These are perfect. I've never used these before but that pastel rainbow swatch i can't use it in this bathroom but we're going to leave this sad bathroom there are actually a lot of hidden rainbow swatches in high school years okay let me see we're changing this flooring what if i set my lighting to a different color so we'll use gray objects but the lighting will be different i feel like i'm doing the black and white challenge but in reverse i'm using this rainbow rug underneath my gray furniture from high school years we could add this here above my bed we'll do the gray dresser with with the patterns on it. Oh, what if we brought in some of the cloud lights? I'm adding these streamers up above here from Seasons. Maybe we could do another dresser right here. This one has like the pink at the bottom. And if we have more mirrors, maybe that'll bring out more of like the rainbow. <laughs> we could add these posters here from Parenthood. I feel like music is a big part of this. So like even some posters coming in could work. Maybe we can also have like a mixing station in the other room. Okay, here is our first bedroom. Majority is gray, but I 
I am bringing more and more color in as we go through with this, I will admit. We've got the rainbow rug in here, really pulling it together. I also love this little panda lamp. He kind of has Shrek ears. We have our posters over here, the dresser. I also added a small couch and of course our Strangerville plants in full effect. I think next I want to start working on this music room here. We've already got the mixing station and I was thinking about grabbing maybe one of the keyboards or piano because I know the ones from Growing Together has some cool patterns on them as well. Like this one here has some cool colors on it. So we could do like piano there, the mixing station beside it, maybe some plants in here and then I was also thinking some fairy lights and maybe we could also use these gray flower decals from Seasons. I'm gonna bring in some of these mushrooms here as well. There's also these ones here in Debug that we could use too. And this plant, the holder there is gray. Okay, so our music room is complete. Next, I want to go and do the bathroom and then we can go up and do the final bedroom. So maybe for this one, we can use a bathtub. Oh, I guess we could use this toilet here. There are also some other ones with some cool swatches. Now I just want to do like an acid pixie build, but like for real. I do have another psychedelic build on this channel somewhere. I think I've done a few of those. So I'll link those down below if you want to see like how this would actually turn out. Actually, with the outside being so colorful. This gray interior doesn't look so sad. Okay, so we have our second bathroom all complete. I added some lights there to the hallway. These are actually from Get Together. They're meant to be like nightclub lights. So I've got my gray flooring, gray wallpaper, and curtains. And I think this time I'm gonna bring in like a really colorful bed. Like I really want to use this one here. But then we can do our gray end tables on the side. I was thinking about doing some beanbag chairs and I don't think I put a TV downstairs so maybe this could be like a big hangout spot. Like it is a bedroom, but this is like the main spot where they could hang out. We'll do a big TV over here, the coffee table from movie hangout, an egg chair maybe. And for our carpet, maybe this time we can do the gray one, but like bring it down in a weird pattern, like bringing it down this way and shrinking it. So it like wraps around that ladder. I'm adding some more plants here in the corner. We'll add another lava lamp. And I think I want to put one in this room, but like we'll size it up. I was considering adding a dance floor in here here. Like that one with the gray and the purple. And maybe we'll just do another bubble blower on the inside. We've got one outside, but we don't want to have to be out there in bad weather. So this is how our final room upstairs turned out. I found these light strips from Dine Out, which I thought added a really interesting feel in here. In this room, I added some mirrors around. I wish I used the dance floor a little bit earlier. And then this is how the other part of the room turned out. I've done a ton of versions of this exact challenge, and this is the hardest one by far. The the wheel was really good to us with the blue dark nautical, but then so evil to us with the gray acid pixie. But regardless, we turned out with something very interesting today. Let me know which side was your favorite. And if you guys liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.